The board will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman True? Alderwoman Flowers? Alderman Bosley? Alderman Moore? Alderwoman Hubbard? Alderwoman Triplett? Alderwoman Young? Alderman Conway? Alderman Ortman? Alderman Vollmer? Alderman Villa? Alderman Arnowitz? Alderman Wessels? Alderwoman Howard? Here. Alderwoman Florida? Alderwoman Beringer? Alderman Rohde? Alderman Kennedy? Here. Alderwoman Davis? Alderman Schmid? Alderman French? Alderman Boyd? Alderman Vaccaro? Alderman Ogilvy? Alderman Cohn, Alderman Williamson, Here. Alderman Carter, Present. Alderman Crewson, President Reed, Here. Alderman Flowers, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Young, Alderman Conway, Alderman Wessels, Alderman Florida, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Davis, Alderman French, Alderman Crewson, 21 present. Quorum being present, I'll ask everyone in the chambers and the galleries who's able to stand to please rise for prayer. Giving all honor to God. Almighty God, source of all authority, we humbly ask guidance in our deliberations and wisdom in our conclusions. Amen. Amen. Dispense with line item three, introduction of honored guests. Any introduction, any introdu introduction of honored guests? Alderman from the 23rd. Yes, I'd like to have as my honored guest Celeste Reeder from the Realtors. And I see Steve Spreck and David Holmes over there. So. I'd like to have them all as my honored guest. Alderman for the night. President, members of the board, I'd like to have for my honored guest today, Ronnie Hour. Alderman from the third. I'm as president, members of the board, I'd like to have as my special guest today, Mark Kaysen. Welcome, Mark. Glad to see you here. All the one from the 14th. I'd like to have as my special honored guest, Gary Otten from Painters District Council number two. All the one from the 16th. Uh, thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I would like to have as my special guest today's, today, David Holmes and Don Summers with the Plumbers and Pipe Fitters and Steve Spreck with Communication Workers. Thank you. All the one from the first. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I have my honored guest, I'd like to present uh, Don DeViver, Master uh, uh, in Public Policy at Washington University. She's also doing a fellowship uh, in biotech uh, at uh, Washington University, and she's looking at uh, disparities in health care uh, uh, for the city of St. Louis, and hopefully we'll be working closely uh, with the disparity in health care in both North and South St. Louis. I ask the board to welcome her to uh, the city and to welcome her to the effort of improving the quality of health in the city of St. Louis. Well, thank you. Welcome. Okay. Alderman from the 12th. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Members of the 12th. Alderman from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I'd like to have, as usual, my special guest, Amron UE and AT&T Group. And my very special guest today is Alderman Shane Cone. Thank you. The very tan Alderman Shane Cone. A nice tan going. <laughs> Alderman from the eighth. 
Good morning, Mr. President. I didn't recognize Alderman Cohn. He's dressed a little conventionally. (laughs) (laughs) But as as my special guest, uh, I have uh, some constituents here. I have uh, Ms. Carlanda Williams, her daughter, daughter Dominique, who is um, getting a Girl Scout badge, um, visiting uh, various public entities and seeing how they operate, and their friend, Lazé. They're with me this morning. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? Alderman from the first. I thought you said it. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? Alderman from the tenth. Like to wrap us up. Alderman from the tenth. Like to wrap us up. Good morning. I'm, I have no guests. I'm just happy to be here. But today is June first. I'm happy to be anywhere these days. <laughs> Today's for you folks trying to make a decision today while we're down here. Today is June 1st, which is National Flip a Coin Day. Use it in good taste today. <laughs> All from the 13th, you recognize on approval of the minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for approval of the minutes of the May 18th meeting. Move by the All from the 13th, second by the All from the 11th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in sections A, B, and C of the agenda and have been placed in all aldermen's mailboxes. We will dispense with line item 7. Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our aldermen from the 28th? Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. I would request that board bills 14, 15, and 16 be moved to the perfection consent calendar. Madam Clerk, please make note of that change. So noted. Would anyone like to take any further bills off of any of our former calendars? We'll dispense with line items 9 and 10, first reading board bills. Board Bill 57, sponsored by Alderman Troop, an ordinance to repeal ordinance 668. Six eight relating to traffic control. Board Bill fifty eight sponsored by Alderman Troop and honors pertaining to renaming of the neighborhood, changing the name of neighborhood recognized as Mark Twain neighborhood to the Wayne Walker neighborhood. Board Bill number fifty nine sponsored by Alderman Conway and honors approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for thirty nine oh five through thirty nine oh seven councilman containing a severability clause. Board Bill sixty sponsored by Alderman Conway and honors approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 3808 Castleman containing a severability clause. Board Bill 61, sponsored by Alderman Ortman, an ordinance approving a order. blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 3539 through 3547 Wisconsin. Board Bill 62, sponsored by Alderman Berenger, an ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 5201 through 5211 Hampton containing a severability clause. Board Bill 63, sponsored by Alderman Flowers, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for Baden Scattered Sites 5. Board Bill 64, sponsored by Alderman Carter, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for Walnut Park Scattered, Walnut Park West Scattered Sites. Board Bill 65, sponsored by Alderman Vollmer, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 5025 Patterson. Board Bill 66, sponsored by Alderman Florida, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 38 78 through 80 Arsenal. Board Bill 67, sponsored by Alderwoman Florida, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 3618 through 20 Hartford. Board Bill 68, sponsored by Alderwoman Florida, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 3837 McDonald. Board Bill 69, sponsored by Alderman Vaccaro, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 6969 Olita. Board Bill 70, sponsored by Alderman Ogilvie, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 1575 through 82 Fairmont. Board Bill 71, sponsored by Alderman Wessels, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission, repealing part of Section 5 of Ordinance 62588 relating to signs at carry-out restaurants and motor fuel pumping stations, containing a substitution clause, a severability clause, a savings clause, and an emergency clause. Board Bill 72, sponsored by Alderwoman Triplett, an ordinance recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the issuance of delivery of not to exceed 
$1,700,000 plus issuance costs, principal amount of tax increment revenue notes for 1549 through 1601 South Jefferson, containing a severability clause. Board Bill 73, sponsored by Alderman Woman Triplett, and authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental cooperation agreement between the city and Shoto Crossing Community Improvement District, containing a severability clause. Board Bill 74, sponsored by Alderman Woman Triplett, and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 2830 through 2838 Magnolia containing a severability clause. Board Bill 75 sponsored by Alderwoman Triplett and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2355 Hickory. Board Bill 76 sponsored by Alderwoman Triplett and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2346 Hickory. Board Bill 77 sponsored by Alderwoman Triplett and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2124 Oregon. Board Bill 78, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance adopted pursuant to Chapter 24 of the Revised Code, extending the boundaries of Hyde Park Historic District. Board Bill 79, sponsored by Alderman Grody and Wessels, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission pertaining to farm-based districts creating a new zoning overlay district in the zoning code containing a severability and an emergency clause. Board Bill 80, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 4336 Vista, containing a severability clause. Board Bill 81, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 4501 through 4503 Wichita, containing a severability clause. Board Bill 82, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 4224 through 4230 Gibson, containing a severability clause. Board Bill 83, sponsored Sponsored by Alderman Rohde and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 4345 ARCO containing a severability clause. Board Bill 84, sponsored by Alderman Ortman and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 2200 through 2202 YM, Wyoming containing a severability clause. Board Bill 85, sponsored by Alderman Ortman and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 3450 Missouri containing a severability clause. That's the extent of our first reading. Reference to the committee. To the public Safety Committee, Board Bill 78, to the Streets Committee. Board, to the Public Safety Committee, Board Bill 57 and 78. To the Ways and Means Committee, Board Bill 73. To the Housing Committee, Board Bills 62, 58, 71, 72, and 79. And to the Neighborhood Development Committee, Board Bills 59, 60, 61, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 74, 75, 76, 77, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. That's the extent of reference to committee. We have dispensed with items 13 through 14, perfection consent. Board Bill 14, sponsored by President Reed and Alderwoman Crewson, an ordinance pertaining to the transit sales tax, creating the city public transit sales tax trust fund, directing the treasurer to deposit funds received into the city public transit sales tax trust fund, account one, appropriating $9,975,000 from the said sales tax to the bi-state development agency containing a severability clause. Board Bill 15, sponsored by President Reed and Alderwoman Crewson, and ordinance pertaining to the Transit Sales Tax, creating the City Public Transit Sales Tax Trust Fund, directing the Treasurer to do deposit funds received into the City Public Transit Sales Tax Trust Fund, Account 2, appropriating $9,975,000 from the said sales tax to the Bi-State Development Agency containing a severability clause. Board Bill 16, sponsored by President Reed and Alderwoman Crewson, and ordinance appropriating the sum of $19,950,000, which sum is hereby appropriated out of the Transportation Trust Fund to the Bi-State Development Agency for transportation purposes containing a severability clause. That's the extent of perfection consent. All in from the 13th, you recognize on the perfection consent calendar. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for perfection of the aforementioned bills on the consent calendar. Moved by all in front 13, second about all in front 11. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries.
We'll dispense with line item 16, third reading consent. Board Bill 7, Committee Substitute 18, 39, 44, 45, and 47. All in from the 13th, recognize on motion for the third reading consent calendar. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for third reading and final passage of the aforementioned bills on the consent. Moved by all in from 13th, yeah. se second by all in from 27th. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Troop. Alderman Flowers. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderman Hubbard. Alderman Triplett. Alderman Young. Alderman Conway. Alderman Ortman. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Villa. Alderman Arnowitz. Alderman Wessels. Alderman Howard. Alderman Florida. Alderman Behringer. Alderman Rohde. Alderman Kennedy. Alderman Davis. Alderman Schmid. Alderman French. Alderman Boyd. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Ogilvy. Alderman Cohn. Alderman Williamson. Alderman Carter. Aye. Alderman Crewson. President Reed. Aye. Alderman Troop. Alderman Rowdy. Alderman Davis. 27 I votes. By your vote, you stay in the motion of the Alderman from the 13th and 3rd read and finally passed the aforementioned bills. Third reading report of engrossments. Board Bill 50, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, and an ordinance recommended by the Parking Commission making appropriation for a payment of the operating expenses, capital equipment, and improvement expenses involving parking division assets and debt services expenses of the parking division of the Treasurer's Office, Keel, Argyle, Shoto, Williams Paper, Central Downtown, Buckingham, Couples, and Justice Parking Facilities containing an emergency clause. Alderman from the third, you recognize on the third reading and the final passage of Board Bill Number 50. Uh, Mr. President, members of the Board, I move for final passage of Board Bill Number 50. Moved by the Alderman from the 3rd, I entertain a sec second by the Alderman from the 22nd. Alderman, please proceed. Uh, Mr. President, members of the Board, this is the Board Bill that took up almost two hours last week where we discussed every aspect of it and everything about it. As we all know, the Treasurer of the City of St. Louis is not going to run for re-election. However, at this point in time, there has to be a board bill that would outline the expenditures of those dollars for the coming year because the new treasurer coming in in January will have the opportunity to dissect, rewrite, and do whatever he chooses is best for that department after he has been there and had an opportunity to study what's going on and make whatever changes that he, as the new treasurer, would like to make. I know there are a lot of people that are unhappy. Well, not a lot of, but there's a few that are unhappy with it, uh, with this bill. But nevertheless, the person that's in charge and has been there for all of these years, dealing with the b budget of the Treasury Department, Park and Media Division, came to the committee. They spent almost three hours answering every question that we put to them relative to this budget that we have in our hand here. Without this budget, there would not be any guidelines for the new treasurer to begin to change or, or alter or do whatever he wants with it. But this, what we've got in our hands today, is what the Treasury Department has written as how the, per the Park and Media Division should operate in the coming year. But in January of 2013, we will have a new Treasurer, and that individual will have the opportunity to make whatever changes they deem necessary to Board Bill 50 and the expenditures of those dollars. So I re- um, 
Re my motion, motion, renew my motion to pass final pass board bill 50 and I'm not answering any questions <laughs> Alderman from the 13 you're recognized but please don't ask the Alderman from the 3rd to yield he said he <laughs> Thank you Mr. President members of the board I rise in opposition I'm going to vote no on this uh, board bill just as I have uh, many years prior I understand that you know, if, if this board bill isn't passed, uh, you know, it would create problems. And if, if we do cut anything out of it, there's no guarantee uh, that it, it, it's unlikely that there would any of the money would flow to the general fund because the uh, treasurer uh, under the current law has uh, control over that funding. Uh, but having said that, um, you know, I'd like to point out that in the last two years, Parking Division has generated $26.2 million. Out of that, $200,000 has went to the general fund to help pay for police, fire, and other vital city services that you need, that I need, and certainly our constituents need. You know, that, that's got to change. That means that every $10 ticket, let's say every $10 parking ticket that's paid, $9.92 stays in the treasurer's office to pay for their expenses. Eight cents goes to the general fund to help pay for these vital city services that we depend on. You know, the Ways and Means Committee, we've been working on the budget now for weeks, and you know, you try to move 100,000 here, 50,000 there. You know, there's money available here. The money's there, it's in the parking division. How much should we be getting, should it be a a million, two million, three million, uh, I don't know, but we're going to find out next year. So I would, um, I would say I'm opposed to this. I think it's a waste of city funds. I've said it for a long time. As a matter of fact, I'm bringing out an old friend of mine. It's been in my office since 1993 when I first tried to present it to Larry Williams, city treasurer. It's the Golden Fleece Award. Uh, with Honorable Larry Williams, Treasurer, City of St. Louis, 1992-93. You know, I, of course, he, he did not uh, care to display it in his office. Uh, Brian Wabi came into my office and accosted me after that, uh, after I offered it to him. And uh, so some things don't change very quickly. <laughs> this budget hasn't changed. Brian Wabi hasn't changed. Larry Williams hasn't changed. So let's have change January 1st of next year. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, Alderman from the 24th. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore people and rehash everything I said last week, but I am gonna say that this was really kind of a missed opportunity. I mean, there seems to be a lot of confusion on what happens if we make any changes to this budget. And making a few small changes, which we proposed last week, uh, would have been a great test just to see, you know, what happens to the money. Does the treasurer's office come back and, you know, ask for that money to be reinstated? And if they do, you know, is there some scrutiny on how that money is spent? So it's a little, it's a little disappointing that we can't even exercise some control over a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars out of fourteen million dollars in the in the parking division. And next year, next April, when we get this budget, um, when we get this budget in committee, I, I hope the new treasurer, or the new treasurer's representative who presents the budget, brings the list of employees to the committee hearing because I think that's really. <laughs> That's really where some of the rubber is, is hitting the road on this budget. We need the chance, we need the chance in committee to scrutinize the positions uh, that are inside the parking division. We didn't have that chance this year. We didn't have that chance uh, last year. Um, a lump sum salary figure is not good enough in a budget. If I presented a budget like that, you know, to my employer, for, hey, I got, I got 10 employees I'm managing. 
I just want, you know, 600,000 bucks for their, for staffing, I'd be, you know, laughed out of the office. You got to, you got to, you got to demonstrate who the, you know, what the, what the positions are and what those people are doing. So whoever the treasurer is next year, uh, I think I'm sending that message now and hopefully they'll hear it. Bring us the list of employees and, you know, because we can't, we cannot keep doing this the way we're doing it right now. Thanks. All right, thank you. Any further, Alderman for Nate. Yes, good morning, Mr. President and members of the board. I understand the, the Alderman from the 24th resolve, and, and I would normally agree with him and be voting for um, each of his issues. But I, I also would agree with the Alderman from the 3rd that you know, we will have new uh, management in that office, and I know we, with us today are probably two, the two most competent people that are running for that office. Both aldermen are very experienced with the budget, and they're both honest, and they're both sincere about helping the city because they have first-hand knowledge. And knowing both of these individuals, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Wessels, I know that we will see the turnaround in that office in January if, if one of our brethren become a, the, the city treasurer. And so I'm comfortable following Alderman Bosley's lead today. All right, thank you. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Alderman from the third, you're now recognized to close. Uh, Mr. President uh, and members of the board, the treasurer's office over there handles almost all of the money that comes into the city of St. Louis. They have the responsibility, along with the comptroller, of taking all of the tax dollars and other money that the city receives, and they have to, every day, take those dollars and form them out to various banks throughout the country in order to be able to raise the money necessary in order to balance the budget that we use. That is what they do. They've been doing it for years. Now, in that position, don't think for one minute that IRS, the Comptroller's Office, and up there at the State, Secretary of State and those offices up there have not looked at that budget over and over and over again. If there was something improper, something wrong, happening in there, they certainly would do what their job calls for, and that's to point it out. But because when you have different people taking offices, those people, because they're running for that office, have determined that they can make change. And if they don't make any change, they're just a rubber stamp and go along with anything. But they're looking at those offices, those people, who are candidates for the treasurer of the city of St. Louis, I'm sure they looked that thing inside out, and they should, or they shouldn't even be running for that office, and come up with whatever ideas they have that are going to make the best positive difference for the city of St. Louis. And that's what it's all about. It's about the city. It ain't about us. It's about those people who elect us to look out for their best interests, and those people that pay taxes into the city of St. Louis and even those parking tickets that they pay for and they don't like it, they want you to take those dollars and do the very best you can for the city of St. Louis. So what I'm saying in short, if you have the comptroller, you have the secretary of state, you have the people that are responsible on the state look, and auditors looking at these dollars that are being spent and they haven't found anything wrong with it, but if those running for treasure have a better idea, bring it on, because the taxpayers of this city deserve whatever is best and in their best interest for the use of their dollars. So we've already been through this. We have ironed this thing. We have shaken this thing. We have looked at it. We have turned it upside down and inside out. And I certainly would hope and would support anything that's better than what we got. See, and everybody has a different idea about things. 
I always look at people running for office like the three blind men that were asked to appraise an elephant. The first blind man got him by the tail and he said, oh, an elephant is like a snake. The other blind man got the elephant, they felt him in the side, he said he's like a, a wall. And the other one got the elephant by the leg and said he's like a big tree. All of them were right in what it was that they could see, but they are limited vision there. But only who could see that full elephant would know what he was. So when you get into that office and you find something that needs to be changed, that's going to be in the best interest of this city, then I entreat you to do that. I renew my motion. It's been moved by the Alderman from the third, seconded by the Alderman from the 22nd, that we th third read and finally pass board bill number 50. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman True. Alderman Flowers. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderman Hubbard. Alderman Triplett. Alderman Young. Alderman Conway. Alderman Ortman. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Villa. Aye. Alderman Arnowitz. Aye. Alderman Wessels. Aye. Alderman Howard. I didn't hear your vote. Yes. Uh, Alderman uh, Florida. Alderman Howard. Aye. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All, thank you. Alderman Florida. All, Alderman Barringer, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Kennedy, Alderman Davis, Alderman Schmid, Alderman French, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cohn. <laughs> That's an I. Alderman Williamson. <laughs> Alderman Carter, Alderman Crewson, President Reed, Aye. Alderman Florida, Alderman Rohde, 25 I votes, 2 no votes. By a vote, you stay in the motion. I'm the alderman from the third, and third reading finally passed, board bill number 50. That's the extent of third reading report of engrossment and final passage. Report of enrollment. Board bills 7, committee substitute 18, 39, 44, 45, 47, and 50. All other business being suspended, the president shall in open session affix his signature here too to the end that these may become law. Curtis resolution. Resolution 36, sponsored by Alderman Flowers. Board of Aldermen recognized the many accomplishments of Dr. Maribeth Elaine Gentry. Gentry. I move for adoption of our courtesy resolution calendar and attain a second on it. Second by the Alderman from the 22nd. Any discussion? Madam Clerk. 
All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, motion carried. That's the extent of courtesy resolution. We'll dispense with line item 21 and 22, miscellaneous unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. Thursday, housing committee meeting 10 a.m. in the Kennedy Room. Friday, full board meeting 10 a.m. in the chambers. That's the extent of my announcement. Any further announcements? Any, all one from the second? For the board, thank you for my microphone. And uh, tonight is the night. Tonight is live on the rocks. And it's a little cold, so bring your blanket. But I'm sure uh, we're going to heat it up tonight. Um, it's at the Chain of Rocks Bridge from 6 to midnight. Uh, Me Hungry will be there with food. We will have adult beverages. And bring your family, bring your dog. You can walk across the bridge all night long to midnight. Just no funny business on the bridge. And uh, also, my final announcement for June 5th is our last day for our Op Spot Spay and Neuter program. So far, we have spayed and neutered 40 animals. We have chipped over 20, and we have vaccinated about 17. So it's going very successful, and I hope we can bust at least 50 on Tuesday. So <laughs> if anyone needs to make an appointment, just call me at 388-3444. All right, thank you. Owen from the ninth. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, you can spend all day tomorrow down in the ninth ward. First in Benton Park West, about eight o'clock, they're having a neighborhood-wide garage sale. So take your cash, your checkbooks. I don't think they take Mastercard or any plastic or anything, but um, that goes from eight o'clock till twelve p.m. So, and then at Benton Park, they have their first uh, concert in the park, and. There also Stray Rescue is going to be there, and we're going to have dog chipping for uh, $20 a dog or a cat if they bring them up. So Stray Rescue is going to be there, pet adoptions, and then pet chipping. So it's important to bring your pet down there and get it chipped. If you don't, it's a bargain price. It'll be a lot of fun. And then Cherokee Street, Cherokee Station, uh, between uh, Indiana and Nebraska, they've got a uh, an ordeal that's called Indy Hop, where they're shuttling between the Grove and Cherokee Street. So I don't have the timeline on that with me, but that'll be fun, and come on down and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. All along from the 14th. I'd like to remind everybody that St. John the Baptist Parish is having their annual school picnic on Wednesday, June 6th. Rides, lunch, bingo. Come on by and enjoy the fun. All along from... Uh, St. John's is on Delore, just east of... Graboy. All along from the 7th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to announce that next Saturday, not tomorrow, but next Saturday, uh, the 7th or 9th, Soulard Market will have the WashU's mammogram van there for women over 40 who need a mammogram. Um, they're starting at 7 a.m. so that those people who have to go to work will be able to get in there and get out. They'll be making, doing the mammograms from 7 to 2, and you can make an appointment at 747-7222. Also, tomorrow is the Lafayette Square House Tour, tomorrow and Saturday, and then tomorrow night in Lafayette Park, there will be a concert at 6 p.m. with Ralph Butler's band. So if you're interested in that, come out. It's free. All right, thank you. Alderman from 27. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, tomorrow, June 2nd, uh, at City Hope Bible Church, Area Health Council will have its annual health walk. Uh, it will be located at Riverview in West Florissant. Um, we encourage everyone to come out. If you need more information, you can go call my office. And also, I just noticed one of my um, guests, uh, Demetrius Alfred of Local 73, is here in the chambers as well. All the way from the 12th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Uh, tomorrow, also June 2nd, is the parade and picnic for the Immaculate Heart Parish. So, be plenty of rides for kids of all ages and uh, plenty of cold beer. <laughs> all men from the 20th. Mr. President, members of the board, uh, the Indy Hop on Cherokee and in the Grove is also in the 20th. It will be from noon to 6. You can get the shuttle at Iowa and Cherokee Street. There will be 15. Um, uh, breweries that will have samplings at the various locations of some 50 independent businesses, both in the Grove and on Cherokee Street. So we ask people to come down, be safe, have a good time, and respect the neighborhood while you're there, please. Also, um, 
there is on June the 5th an election. Uh, it seems to have passed uh, by a lot of people and gone under the radar. Proposition Y seems pretty clear because there's been a lot of talk about that. But I would encourage people to look at their sample ballot. There are eight other propositions. Um, they seem a bit complicated to me, so I would be cautious. Please read those and please vote on Tuesday the 5th. Thank you. All right. Alderman from the 24th. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, one of my favorite events is, is currently going on. Um, the uh, St. Louis Shakespeare Festival has a fellow uh, in Forest Park right now. I, I can't remember the, the, uh, the last day, but I think they're running for, for two more weeks. There's going to be some beautiful evenings this weekend uh, to stop by. And if you're smart, you'll go uh, before the last night, which is what I usually do, because it'll be easier to get a seat. Um, in addition, uh, Franz Park Neighborhood Association is having a uh, movie night tomorrow night. Um, I believe the movie is Happy Feet 2. Uh, so if you're into penguins and who isn't into penguins, uh, come out tomorrow evening to Franz Park and uh, watch a movie with the Neighborhood Association. Thanks. All right, thank you. All one from the fifth. Thank you, Mr. Is it on? Okay. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I would just like to announce that on Thursday, June the 7th, the Fifth World will be having their eighth annual job fair. We have over 50 uh, employers that have committed to offer jobs on the spot and also assist with uh, resume training. Myself, along with Penny Hubbard, the candidate for state rep of the 78th district, is hosting this event. And I would like for you all to spread the word. Um, as you all know, unemployment rates have hiked in the last couple of months, so it's important that we constituents employed. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Alwyn. Alwyn from 19. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, first, I wanted to remind everyone uh, who's listening and for you to share with others, today is the last day to register to vote if you plan to vote in the August primary. Today, June 1st, is the last day. So um, if you know someone or if someone is listening and you have a friend, relative, whatever, get them there to register so that they can vote in the August primary. Uh, I'd like to share with you that uh, Urban Chestnut, uh, one of the new brewing companies on Washington Avenue right at Compton, will be opening a new uh, beer garden uh, this weekend. And it's quite lovely. It reminds you of the German beer gardens. Uh, I think the architecture there and what they've done there is quite nice. Also, Circus Floor is opening this weekend, so I'm looking forward to seeing more people in the Grand Center area enjoying the circus. Uh, Botanical Heights residents, we're having movie night Thursday, June 7th coming up. I'd like to see a lot of you there. We'll have the popcorn, snow cones, all of that. And then for Tiffany residents, and Tiffany Park will have movie night June 28th, and I'd like to see that park full of folks, and we're going to have a lot of other information and fun things to do. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman from the 4th. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. We have in the 4th Ward all, all summer long an annual flea market on Martin Luther King from Marcus to Van der Venner. Boots are available. We also have in the Veal Orchard on uh, Sarah and Evans, uh, there are planter boxes available so you can still plant your fruit, vegetables, and flowers at the Veal Orchard on Evans and Sarah. So please, if you like a booth or a planter box, please call me at 486-1687, and I'll, do, I'll refer you to, to the powers to be. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? Alderman from the 13th, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to excuse the alderman from the 17th ward due to necessary absence. Moved by the alderman from the 13th, seconded by the alderman from the 11th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Alderman from the 13th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to adjourn the meeting until Friday, 10 a.m., June 8th. Moved by the alderman from the 13th, seconded by the alderman from the 11th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned.